What's up guys, I'm Dr. Parker. Today we are in Glamis, California. We're gonna be ripping the dunes. We got tons of side-by-sides and all kinds of toys. My brother brought out his mini TRX that's on sand paddles and it also has a Helifant engine. We've got dirt bikes, side-by-sides, sand rails, four-wheelers. I mean, JH brought his machine. We got my buddy, Sean Steimer who brought out this Razor Pro that's actually celebrating his bachelor party this weekend. So pretty fired up to have him here with his machine. We got our buddy Dave who rented this. And then I rented a brand new Maverick R. This thing is super sick. It's an XRS Maverick R. So it's obviously got the crazy new advanced suspension. I mean, the dunes are absolutely massive. If you guys have ever seen the videos and pictures, it just doesn't do it justice at all. Garrett hasn't ridden the sand rail in quite a bit of time, so they've been completely rebuilding the shocks, and so they've been going out doing test hits, and that's what we just did. So they made, came back, made some adjustments, now they're going back out to rip again. And the idea is, is that before, the back end would buck up really high over the whoops, and now it's they're trying to get it to ride smooth when they're doing like 50 or 60 miles an hour. It's a crazy feeling that when we first went through them, the other guy jumped out, adjusted the suspension, we got back in and it rode so much more smooth. They're just doing little tweaks now to get it absolutely perfect. So I used to have this same exact machine. This is a Can-Am Turbo RR XMR. And they just put an upgraded ECU in Drew's machine. So we're gonna go rip this thing. See how much of a difference it makes. <clears throat> Are you ready, dude? Are you fired up? Oh yeah. Yeah, maybe this thing will actually uh, beat my Defender now. Rear defender? Why wouldn't it? Did it not before? Hell no, it stopped. Uh, it was governed at like 62 miles an hour. So okay. it'd be ripping and then just falling. Oh, so you space. want to see if you get any more max speed out of this thing? Yeah, I feel like there's a lot more there to be had. You know what I'm saying? They said putting a bigger ECU in it should put like 20 more horsepower too, right? And it took the speed limiter off? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> It seemed like it was all a bit of 80 miles an hour. Dude, that had to be all of 80 miles an hour. That was 85. <laughs> that was way different than 62. Install that come with a wiring harness and everything. Literally, all you do plug and play. Plug and play. Comes with the switch, relay, the whole deal. Check out how bright these units are. Bang! Lights up the whole area in here. These things are super sick and bright, which is a great safety feature, honestly. I mean, if you're riding at night, why wouldn't you have these on your machine? And it comes with a complete wiring harness. Pretty sick.
Guys, we just rode out to Old Mobile Hill and the video just doesn't do it justice. I bet you it's... Carlo, how many stories do you think this is? Stories? Yeah, like 15, 20 stories tall. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. But it seems like the only group here is us for some reason. We're a week before Camp Razor. But we still got a solid crew of probably 15 to 20 machines. And uh, this Maverick R is treating us pretty well. We haven't pushed it too hard. Because obviously she's a rental unit. But we did get the Martian whips on here. Just kind of temporarily wired it up so we can take it off before we return it. I'm excited to see these things at night because this white looks really good on here. Look at them wheelie up all the way up the hill. That thing's sick. Old two-stroke ripper. That's probably the 80. Yeah? I mean, I want that. Like an 80 something, right? Let me ride his YFC 450R. I'm gonna take it up Old Mobile Hill. What? Up the, you've gone up the hill, Garza? Yeah, I already went once. All right, brother. I had, you think so, I got it? Yeah. Yeah, dude, that thing's so strong. I started it first and just it pulled every gear. Yeah, so I'll go first to second. Yeah, I, I would go to I'd go to third at least. All right. I could have hit fourth. Up the hill? Yeah. And after that, go up the other hill.
Sabo, we lost the whip. One of our whips. Oh, did we? No, nah, she's just hanging. It's the one I did. Of course. That's all right, easy fix. Let's go. I don't think that video does it justice of how insane those, those hills actually are. But for Sunset Hill right now, there's tons of machines here. So sick. Apparently the sun doesn't set unless you're here. Here's that Tatum car that Garrett was ripping. Take like a turbo LS setup, twin turbo, Garrett turbos, red line, LS. Pat and I were just laughing, we're like, let's you come here, the videos. Pictures just don't do it justice. How big this place is! No, not at all. This thing's shaking it's like crazy. Incredible place. off the locals. Huh? I'll go back to camp and I'll call you if he's there. Alright right, guys, day two. We have a huge day of riding. We're actually headed to China Wall, which is quite a bit of a rip from camp. Also going to hit some other points out there. So we burned about a half a tank of fuel yesterday running around near camp and uh, going to get her topped off before we head out today. Sounds like we're going to hit the sand in about an hour and everybody's making breakfast getting cleaned up but check this thing out it looks so sick he's looking clean man it's still got the, the stubbies on the tires the to on the first one to rent it todd said todd's been awesome he helped us out made this process super easy so that we could have a machine of our don't own our and mess. what's that so don't show them our mess i won't show them we're still setting up for camp razor yeah, so we're actually a weekend before Camp Razor, which is a huge event in Glamis. I mean, thousands of machines will be here. All the washes will be full of campers. And uh, I don't know, I almost am glad we're here this weekend so we're not just part of the madness because the way that those dunes are shaped with like Razorbacks and stuff, if, if you cut over the top of one, you really don't know if there's other guys on the other side. So being here on a more mild weekend's in our favor, even though we have a ton of experienced riders with us that are leading the pack, just that peace of mind that everyone's gonna be that much safer because there's less people out here goes a long way. So Glamis Dunes here, which is right next to the Glamis store, 
right Glamis there. So this is Glamis Dunes Rentals, which is right next to the Glamis store, right there. And they have a ton of inventory. And you can see some of these machines. Todd said they ran out of what, 10 machines? And I mean, a lot of them come back damaged, yeah, unfortunately. Seven out of 10 came back damaged last week. Looks like they either nosed it in or yeah, rear-ended somebody. They, or They took out the uh, whole right front suspension. Oh man, this brutal. One here, this one here lawn darted, cleared a significant gap brand new car the very first renter it had like five miles on it when they took it out oh man and they bent the frame the cars totaled but oh yeah we'll do we don't half-ass things we don't try to straighten it out we actually already got a frame on order and we'll do a complete frame wow. swap wow uh, here on site yeah yep right here Dang on site man. i have two mechanics that work full-time so. i bet you do especially this time especially this time of year and I'm sure most of these machines will be running next weekend. Oh, yeah. They? Yeah, that's the goal of the rush. This one won't be out next weekend. Right, but right. We've got another one inside. We have a nice shop inside, but we haven't opened that door this morning yet. Dude, incredible operation. Thanks. Last time we were here, I didn't rent a machine, and I always regretted it. And then I went home and bought one. So now when I came back, I told Todd, I was like, I want your baddest machine you've got. And you put me in a brand Mav new Mav R, R baby. Yeah. You're the first renter on this. First thing. renter. So my number one goal is to return it in better shape than I got it, so <laughs> he says, please. Freaking, what is that, 9.9 .9 gallons we yeah. yesterday? Dude, that's way more than I expected. Yeah, these things lack the fuel, that's for sure. Yeah, it does, but I mean, we still had two-thirds of a tank, so what, it's probably got close to a 30-gallon tank or high 20s? Uh, it, no, it's got a... Uh, I want to say it's a 12 or 14 gallon tank on this one. It's what? not huge, yeah. That's weird because the indicator was showing, you know, two thirds full when we took yeah. nine gallons. But hey, whatever. I'm glad we know now. So that when we're at half, it's probably less than half. All right, so we just left camp for the first time today, and our group got mad split. We uh, we've got all the four wheelers and dirt bikes at the back for some reason. By the time we got to Olds Hill. All the big dogs had already gone up and over, and so we were staying back with the little guys on the bikes and the quads, and we got split up for about half an hour, but I was able to get a ping off of Sean, find my iPhone, saw him all sitting up on top of a hill, and we were able to get everyone back together. Sean, what took you so long to get back? I was taking phone calls. Yeah, yeah, of course you were. <laughs> he stole it. He, I think he closed the house. Ah, I literally was taking he... phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Steinberg, how can I help you? <laughs> Are you in traffic right now? Sort of. <laughs> sort of, kind of. All right, brother. You ready to rip? Let's rip, brother. Headed to China Wall. The whole squad of cars. Cars is on his four-wheeler. Caleb's on his four-wheeler. George and Jay on dirt bikes, and the rest of us are in cars. But Garza led the whole way here. <laughs> no, don't believe it. you <laughs> good? All right, so we just left camp for the first time today, and our group got mad split. We uh, we've got all the four wheelers and dirt bikes at the back for some reason. By the time we got to Olds Hill, all the big dogs had already gone up and over, and so we were staying back with the little guys on the bikes and the quads. And we got split up for about half an hour, but I was able to get a ping off of Sean, find my iPhone, saw him all sitting up on top of a hill and we were able to get everyone back together.
Man, the, the Mav R is a champ, even on them stock tires. Just let the pack to get back everybody over here. And then tell you what, these hills, it's sketchy out here. You got these witch's eyes and the Razorback, so you really don't know what's on the other side until you go over the hill. There's a couple times we actually stopped, got out and looked before proceeding just to be safe. I know these guys who ride out here all the time are pretty confident, but hey, us boys from Florida aren't used to these big dunes. All right, guys, we are uh, halfway between Olds and China Hill right now. We finally met up with our group again and uh, got a little bit of rest, let the bikes cool down. And now we're gonna rip over to China Wall. Uneventful, hopefully.
Nice work, nice bro. Nice job, dude. Not really, I got us lost twice. <laughs> oh, well, we made it. <laughs> plan just kind of hanging out at the bottom of the hill all the other guys are at the top Garza and everyone made it which is kind of surprising but I'm pumped that he did still want to see him hit the hill it looks like Caleb's coming down on his whirly right now but uh, just having some waters watching the guys rip up and down runners hitting the bluter off the top it's pretty cool out here feels like we're in the middle of nowhere but in reality there's only a train track like five miles that way that leads back to camp or you could go the long way back to the dunes so we'll see which way we take home but for now we're just having fun chilling Grabbing a bite to eat and some waters. It's pretty cool out here. Caleb, how you doing? Are you gonna be riding in a side by side after today? I, I, I'm grateful for the experience of riding a four wheeler out here. Respect. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm never doing this again. Mad respect, dude. My thumb is smoked. You did it once. You can cross it off. The oh, yeah, it's checked. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna bomber up the hill? Yeah. All right. Let's see you, buddy. I know, right? Uh, All right. I love it. It's hard work though, huh? A lot of work on a quad though, I'll tell you that. Yeah. You were here last year and you just rode with Garrett, right? Yeah. Oh, here goes Runner. Ooh! What a whip. <laughs> Everyone go help him. <laughs> as messed up as it is, that is pretty funny. Yeah, he got permission from these guys over here who don't know you, so. Like, it's all good, it's uh, all good. We're part of the crew, you know? It was good. I know if I go down, my retaliation is gonna be the ugliest thing everybody's seen, so I think I've got about everybody so far. Jeez, dude. Well, I was like got, four feet from the top. You were. Well, you gotta finish the job. Yeah, gotta do it. Jeez. Go, Caleb, beat him. Yeah. 
traversing a garage and doing like that, doing a wheelie. That is wild. That is, that is wild. That's something to see. We've had some fun at China Wall for a couple hours. We're gonna head back towards the railroad tracks, back to camp, hang out for a bit, freshen up, get some water, get some food in us, and probably go out for a night ride later tonight. Are you ready to hit the dunes, brother? I'm yeah, I'm ready. All right, dude, saddle up. I'm gonna ride uh, with Greg. Oh, okay. He's got nobody. Do so, it, on six. Bug it. Bug it, baby. He's probably a better driver than me. I think he's a pro or something. <laughs> Guys, we made it back to camp. Everyone's exhausted, taking naps. Apparently you don't run in the middle of the day because the sun is right above us and doesn't create shades over the dunes. It's nice to have that shade so that you can actually anticipate your next move and see the dunes more clearly. So when you're riding out in the middle of the day like this, it can be pretty dangerous. But hanging out with Sean, Matt, and Dan here, all having some lunch, uh, checking out our machines. Drew, unfortunately, has no compression in his unit. So he's got, he's going to rent another machine, but I will say that it sounds like Garza and Caleb and JH, everyone who rode dirt bikes and four wheelers, they, they're they definitely going to be sore. I think we're going to whip up some kind of ice bath or something like this, but I think we're going to the sand drags later and then Oldsmobile Hill or something like that. So something really cool about Dan's truck is he has Bluetooth light pods. So you, you don't even have to plug them in. Yeah, you clap and then they turn on. You got to pay extra. And now for ride number two of the day, it looks like it's going to set in about three hours. And so we're going to go head over to the drags and go explore a little bit, have some fun, and uh, let's get ripping.
right guys, we're going for our night rip Friday night after we went to the sand drags. For some reason, we need fuel again. Lucky for us, Sean has got a little fuel cell for us. We'll put a couple gallons in her, make sure we don't run out of fuel. Ready to rip. I don't know what's going on. I think there's something wrong with my machine, but the low fuel light keeps coming on. So far we've put 104 miles on this unit since we picked it up. That's a ton of riding. Well guys, that wraps it up. Day two, tomorrow we're gonna be heading to the swing set. Pretty fired up for that. So we're calling it a night and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Morning guys. Sean and I feel like absolute dog trash for some reason, even though we don't drink really. Yeah. And uh, we woke up to a flat tire today, so I'm glad this is all we have to worry about. How many pounds are you going to? Just probably nine. Did he get like a spike in the trailer or something? Or in the tire or something? I don't know. Dan drove it for five minutes and then got flat last night. <laughs> Blame it on Dan. First, for sure. first ride out. Dude, this sunrise is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take the machine out over the hill real quick. It always fucking pops. Yeah? Oh, yeah. With the, Frankie's saying, it, no matter what angle you take a picture of this machine, it's always popping, and that's for sure. This metallic wrap they've got on it is pretty sick. Dude, how you liking the R? Loving it so far, man. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it keeps in my possession. <laughs> is <laughs> that the happen, plan? Not, not the plan. Uh, maybe someday we'll get one, but... Yeah. Yep. Is that foreshadowing? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> there you go, there you go. Well, cool, man. Love what you guys are doing with Race Rebuild Repeat. Yeah. Keep cranking out the content. Super pumped I got this Maverick Guard rip this weekend. It's been freaking awesome. Sean's got a Razor, what is it, a Pro? Yeah, Pro. Razor Pro, it's all tricked out. And uh, this new suspension, I mean, it's pretty sick. We put 100 miles on this thing, and the nubs are still on the tires, which is pretty crazy. Uh, but these Martian webs on there, I mean, it helps visibility a ton. This triple wishbone 9000 suspension back here, dude. Styled. The screen's pretty cool. It's kind of like in the Razors. It's got like navigation and you can follow your breadcrumbs in case you get turned around out there. But we don't need that because we're not noobs, right? You can pair your phone, front and rear cameras, and look at all the statistics. And there's a bunch of different drive modes. Like when you put it into Sport, the Sport Plus, it chirps it up. It makes a lot more fun noises. It seems to be a lot more powerful. So pretty cool. Shout out to Glamis Dune Rentals for hooking it up with this thing. Uh, they were freaking made the process so easy. We literally just showed up. We had all the paperwork signed and everything, and Todd was super helpful. He was a great walk around on the machine and, you know, was always taking safety as a priority, which has really been ours as well, even though we ride hard and have fun at the same time. But, John, last day, brother, for your bachelor party. Was That's it worth great. it? Was it a good one? Hell yeah. It was nice, amazing dude. one. Glad we made it happen. Well, it's only like 7 a.m. and I know some of the guys are up till 3 or 4, so we're going to go check in on people, maybe start cranking away some breakfast. I think today we're going to the swing set. Is that right, Frankie? Today is swing set, and then uh, I think some guys are heading out tonight. We might even drive out tonight. We'll see.
diner at the border. And Caleb done shred the belt. You gotta get the have that. So tool you gotta have the comfort tool. You got it, right, Sean? Yeah. This diner's always prepared, that's for sure. Shredded it. Because everyone's open. going 80 miles an hour. Yeah, I know. I had a bad feeling. We, we were, were just ripping cruising for a while. Like 50, dude. There's no reason for it. Old Maverick R holding in strong. You got it, Garza? You changing this thing? Yeah, I'll be quick. Made it to the United States Mexico border wall. Cool. Never been here before. I've done more. Hold on, tell me that again. Alright, so you gotta get in the car. Yeah. Frank, and then you're I'm riding this thing. You're racing your brother and Drew. Yeah. Oh, dude, in, they're dude. done. Get in, dude. They're done. You're gonna Frankie's out. my man, dude. What's up, buddy? Hopefully, this can stretch over your helmet. Ooh. Probably not. Worst case, I have one you can hold. Hold on, tell me that again. Alright, so you gotta get in the car. Yeah. Frank, and then you're racing. I'm riding this thing. You're racing your brother and Drew. Yeah. Oh, dude, in, they're dude. done. Get in, dude. They're done. You're gonna Frankie's out. my man, dude. What's up, buddy? Hopefully this can stretch over your helmet. Ooh. About to ride in my first real sand car. Twin turbo all that, see? Yeah, twin is a Tatum. It's like 1,500 horsepower, straight up, craziest thing I've ever been in my life. Did you just ride in it? Oh, well, dude. Did it, brother. It didn't even make sense. And he's gonna race the cleater. Ready, brother? Right in Tatum, we're gonna be racing Drew and Cletus and another Tatum over there. Yep. This is the wife's car, so it's set up a little bit hot. And Drew, I yeah? The boost okay, we just found the boost button, so we're going up, going up with that one. But I'm gonna put my phone away. I'm gonna be carrying a GoPro because it's gonna get a little bit hot in here. And by hot, I mean fast. <laughs>
All right, guys, that's a wrap. I'm like back at Glamis Dunes Rentals. The Maverick R was an absolute champ this weekend. So shout out to Todd for helping us out, man. Appreciate it. Absolutely. This thing is an absolute beast. If you guys are ever in Glamis, you need any machine, hit your boy up, Todd, because he hooked it up and got us right. And this thing's an absolute beast. So yeah. thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next episode.